Chuck would continue to try and achieve his goal of successfully self-filming a harvest. This hunter also has another goal, which is to fill a tag on the buck he's been chasing the past three years. Just one day after self-filming cost Chuck a chance at this elusive buck, the old deer returns, and today, Chuck may have another chance at accomplishing both of his goals. So it's December 19th, and you again have the Baba coming towards you. I do, and uh, again, I think it's going to culminate with an arrow being launched. Again, self-filming. I get the, get the bow drawn, and just as I get drawn, the sight hits the viewfinder and knocks the camera sideways. So I'm at full draw, now I gotta lean down with my elbow and I gotta turn that camera. And all the while, and I'm watching the viewfinder, I realize I get the buck back in frame, but I don't look up. And what saved the bad buck life when Matt was here was these hanging down limbs. I don't pay any attention to the limbs. Settle the pin. Let it go hit a limb, deflect that arrow just a little bit. I hit the deer back, but I finally got an arrow in the bye buck, I think. When I go back and I watch the footage, turns out this isn't even the bye buck. All I saw was big wide horns and I just got tunnel vision. I went into hunter mode. Uh, all I thought about was killing the deer. Turns out it's a 10 point buck that I've never seen before. 150 class buck, mature, one heck of a consolation prize, let's put it that way. Even though Chuck's focus was on the bow buck, doesn't mean this consolation prize wasn't a product of Chuck's hard work. Does that ever happen to you much, where you just have a buck walk onto your property that you've never seen before? Happens some, not a lot. I mean, I run so many Reconics, but this is the product of having good food. If you plant a lot of food you'll, and your neighbors don't, you'll draw in those deer. And I suppose that's what this was. We have a lot of food on this farm. We drew him in, uh, and that was his uh, that was his mistake. I'm thankful that Worm lives right down the road. So I got Worm behind the camera. We've watched the video back. Uh, I tracked blood for about 10, 15 yards, and there's no doubt that this deer is dead, and he's going to be dead within a couple hundred yards. I did hit a limb, and I did hit him back. I'm not going to make any excuses about that. But what I did do was I I think I caught the femoral artery. And uh, when, by doing so, I mean, uh, it's definitely lethal, so. With a blood trail like that, there is no doubt that this buck is down. Despite the tree limb catching Chuck's arrow, he still managed to harvest this deer efficiently and ethically, which is a product of using quality gear that you trust. Thank you, Lord. Well, call him the consolation buck, I guess. Call him no name, call him a bonus buck, call him what you will. I'm gonna call him mine. Big old Missouri 10 pointer, actually 11 pointer if you're counting split uh, brow tine. Just a beautiful buck. And I tell you what, I could not be more proud to have this deer right now. I've had a great season. I've had great encounters. I sealed the deal on a great buck early in November. Matt Bullen's filming me. I'm one of the hardest headed guys you'll ever meet. And I set my sights on filming myself this year and killing one my, by myself. Uh, a lot of times I could have got help, but uh, again, I'm hard headed and uh, you haven't always got the best video out of me, the most fancy of photography and all that, but what you have got out of me is reality and how it really happens. I could not be more proud, and I tell you what, I just thank God above for making me a bow hunter and blessing me with the opportunity to come out here and chase these whitetail. I'm just a blessed man. I'm absolutely blessed to get to do what uh, God allows me to do, and, and uh, I couldn't be any more happy. Whitetail fix achieved in Missouri this evening.